The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Alongside Carson Newman, baseball coach Tom Griffin, I'm Michael Watching for the Eagles Sports Network as the Eagles lose 10 to 7 to Saginaw Valley State in the series finale. Uh, coach, you run out a new lineup today. Uh, you move Addington into the three hole. Uh, Salito's at the top of the order. Lynch is in there. Go Forth gets out there as well. How do you grade the new look lineup today? Well, those guys have had some opportunities, but not like like a kind of in this series. So, um, you know, Joey's had some good at bats. So it was good to see what he did for us. No question about it. He had a good day. He battled very well, and you know, he hadn't played a lot at short. And we were just kind of giving Jimmy a little bit of rest today. And I thought he did a tremendous job um, there in the box. So uh, definitely a good job and go forth. No, he'd only had a couple of, well, one at bat before, and and yesterday had a good at bat and. You know, there's something about uh, go for. He's a he's a tough kid. He's a football wrestler mentality, and um, we wanted the we talked a little bit about having more of a mentality in that box and competing, and um, you know, so we wanted to give him that opportunity. Kyle Kegel, uh, first two pitches of the game, hit batter, yeah. single, but then yeah. doesn't allow a hit again until the sixth inning. What do yeah. you think of his performance today? Great, great. I, you know, like. Certain pitchers in the big, they can't get out of that first stand. You got to make sure if it's one run, we're good. He he got out of that and uh, was proud to see him do that. He struggled in that first inning. We probably got to change up his bullpen routine a little bit to get him more ready. Uh, that's one option. But um, yeah, he settled down. The breaking ball worked well. He was able to throw it a, a behind an account. Uh, kept them off balance pretty well. So that was really good. Very encouraging, no question about it, to go that long because we haven't had starters go that long. It might have been the first time we had someone go six innings, uh, to be honest with you, or go that far. So that was uh, encouraging, no question. 14th time this year that the opponent has scored first against you. How do you get off to a better start this week? I didn't realize that, and I know you have those numbers, which is, which is cool. Um, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Listen, the coaching staff, we're talking, and we want to figure this out for these guys because we love them, and uh, they give us everything we ask for. Um, we don't know what to do because they're all upperclassmen. This is a mental thing, um, you know, and then it becomes a not having good luck thing. You know, you hit a ball uh, eight to six, three runs on, and there's a ball hit that in most days goes out. Mm -hmm. Guy makes a good catch going back, so now you're not catching any breaks. So... We talked about it this morning with Chapel is um, trusting, staying with the process and understanding that God's going to put a lot of uh, trials in, in front of you and it's, it's how we're going to handle it. Do we trust each other and does the chemistry stay together and understanding our roles? And then it's learning how to compete on a day-to-day -day basis. What we can't have is, 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 is two young guys over here that are smiling when we just lost the ball game. You, you don't want that. You want to feel the hurt. Even though I didn't play, I want to feel the hurt because my teammates are hurting. Not, not be standing over here smiling like something was said. And that's why we have this, you know, 30-minute, let's stay away from the coaches a little bit because it really, you know. It takes us a little while. It used to take me two days. Now it takes me about an hour. It's getting better as I get older. But I need to, to f go through some mourning. That, that's just who I am. And I know we have other players that feel that way. So when you got guys that are kind of giggling, I, I, I got to handle that better. That team over there was gritty and tough. That, that's who we are. We want to be gritty, we want to be tough, we want to compete in the box, we want to wear balls off our body, we want to play injured and get after it. We want to put pressure on people. They did that to us all weekend, all weekend. I told their coach, you guys play the way we, we train. Mm -hmm. We're not playing it that way right now, but that, that, that I was hopefully it was like watching us play, the mirror of that. So, you know, I don't know what we got to do. We're going to keep coming out and keep training and keep, uh, uh, working with guys and and hopefully that just becomes a trust thing and stick with the process because like we talked about uh, these trials that we're going through are a test and in the game of life uh, this is the test and we told them they'll take this on beyond life uh, beyond baseball when they go uh, and have a family and have a job there's going to be trials we're going to use these experiences on how did we handle this in our life so these are life lessons. I get that. Um, and, and we talk about that, and that's what's important for all of us to remember. Coach, appreciate the time. Best of luck this week. Thank you. You're the best. He's Carson Newman, baseball coach Tom Griffin. I'm Michael Watchering as the Eagles fall 10-7.